What's going on guys, Corrosive Bowl here. We're gonna be breaking down and giving you guys some tips and tricks as to how to approach the brand new game mode, Full Power Battle. Um, I already went through, the reason why this video is a little bit late is because I wanted to spend some time with one of the Full Power Battle modes so I can get a grasp of what the game mode is actually like. I went and completed all three stages of the Full Power Battle against Topo and it actually wasn't too bad. I had a lot of fun with the, ma with the mode. Um, as someone who is not a big fan of, of co-op personally, um, having this be more of a PvE format and having a sense of difficulty to it, as well as how active you kind of need to be while doing while playing this mode, uh, it's a bit more fun than I expected it to be. Um, now, whether that remains to be seen, you know, let's say, uh, let's say I don't know, three months down the road. Uh, if three months down the road, like, obviously this opinion could change. But in terms of its initial release, I actually really enjoyed playing it. Um, so let's just dive into the Jiren one, and let's just kind of go over the screens and menus and, before we jump in and actually try out the mode. So this is your standard mode, uh, standard phase, your standard phase, your standard menu. Uh, you, it's kind of similar to every other a aspect there. You got your battle bonus characters, as well as your first time victory rewards up at the top. It's almost like what the menu you would see while doing the, uh, the world ret challenge raids. But essentially, at the top you'll see it's no on normal difficulty. As you beat each difficulty, uh, it unlocks a new one and it goes up to Scream. And uh, so you get three different modes. See what you're getting here, how much power that individual has. Uh, you select four characters. Or you, you set up four different party menu. Uh, you set up four different party menu screens for four individual characters. This is very similar to that of uh, co-op or world challenge raid. Uh, you just gotta do it four separate times. And then at the very top of the screen, each party screen is going to give you a certain uh, limitation. You are limited to a particular tag or condition to. Uh, be able to fill out this team. So uh, clearly, you can only in this particular one, you can only select Sun Flame family members uh, as units for the or as you know units that you can take in with you. And this also applies to your support members as well. So let's just create something really quick here. So I'm going to use the new Ultra Goku, um, and he's pretty good by the way. I was able to pull two copies of him uh, on maybe four rotations, five rotations. So, not too bad, can't complain. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start building him up with some Sun Family goodness. Um, maybe not do, maybe not so much that. Do a little bit of that. Some family buff from there. Blue 10 doesn't really supply much in terms of the Sun family buff. Extra health wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, not bad table there. This Go 10's not bad for that. Uh, yeah, that works all right. All right, and then in terms of equipment, I still I'm still working on my equipment too. So like in terms of equipment, guys, I'm sorry this is not the most <laughs> it's not the most ideal uh, equipment setup, but. Just for the sake of the video. And then when you get your party menu all set up as well, uh, what you can do is you can actually select a comrade. And basically this pulls from your friends or guild members list. And each, each person should have, in theory, each person should have four characters set up as like the characters they want you to run. And these guys give you just a little bit of an extra boost. Just a little bit of an extra one. Um, so in this particular case, I think we're going to choose... 
Yeah, I think we're going to choose the other Ultra Goku here uh, by Zaro in my guild. Um, which, by the way, if you guys would like an invite to the guild, let me know down in the comments below. I will make sure to get you guys a uh, sent invite. Uh, I would much rather work with the community and have you guys involved uh, than have uh, some random people involved. So, uh, yeah. Feel more than free to uh, reach out. So that's done. So we can confirm that. Or no, not yet. Alright, so now we'll go over to the next one. So the next one is Universe Survival Saga. So, in terms of that, I think what we might do is... Maybe we'll do some... Yeah, we'll do some, let's do some uh, let's do some Android 17. Why not? So obviously, we'll add you. We'll add Jiren. We'll add this Topo. We'll add this Beerus. This Vegeta will be good. One eternity later. So we got our team set up. Got our team set up. Everybody is good to go. We got all yellow. All yellow boost characters to go up against this Jiren. Um, so I think at this point we can kind of, we can confidently say that we are uh, ready to actually play this. Um, you can go ahead and choose. You can actually choose which character you would like to play as. Or which one you want to control. And obviously we're going to use the new Kaioken Goku. Uh, so yeah, let's just dive in and see what, uh, and I'll show you guys the ins and outs of this game mode. Um, now again, like you want to make sure that you're paying attention while you play because this is a, this is actually a very relatively active game mode. And the last thing that you want to do is make a mistake. Um, now the one critique that I will say that I have for this particular game mode is that it's very cluttered. There's a lot of there's a lot going on on screen, so you have to make sure you're paying attention. All right, he should be going into his fir first break gauge soon. See, like right there, I was not really paying attention there, and I'm taking damage for it. Uh, so he again, they send out. Uh, so he does like little AOE moves uh, that you have to actually avoid. There's no way to really like get around it outside of just avoiding it. Um, and now, right now, we're in a we're in his boost mode. We're in his break mode. Uh, he does considerable amount of damage if you do not stop this particular uh, stage of the fight. So. I try to hold on to Rising Rush as best as I can. If I get a break card, I will use a break card, but we do not get a break card, so I am going to just do the Rising Rush. Get the cool little animation. You can, you can see that they put a lot of care into how this game mode actually operates. So, like, you can't be... I can't be too mad at the uh, at the at the prospect of this mode. Um, that said, though, We're gonna avoid. Yep. And all right, now it's time to unleash. I have noticed that the second uh, the second break gauge is a little bit harder to get through. All right, we're gonna I'll do an all out rush for blast, and this is the tap mini game one. That did pretty good. And 
And so this look look how much damage that did. Now this isn't too Oh man, he dodged that. Okay. That's a little unfortunate. I mean, luckily I luckily I can pr play pretty defensively right here, but All right, so that was just normal, guys. This can get a lot worse. This can get a lot scarier. <laughs> uh, but that's the, that's the normal stage completed and done. And you obviously, you get your Z power increases for the new Gokus. I'm hoping that at some point they incorporate uh, other rewards and they're not just tying it down to free to play characters. Um, just because I would like a little bit more variety in terms of rewards. Because if I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, I do not feel like grinding up these, uh, I do not feel like grinding up these new free to play characters. I mean, they're fine. They're, they're okay. I was gonna say, get a charge, get a little bit of a charge gauge up. Man, this topo is like, <laughs> this topo is on point when it comes to, uh, when it comes to saving my back. All right, come on. I'm actually not landing a whole lot of hits here. All right, here we go. Man, he still hasn't... I'm not sure what's going on. He still hasn't... Gone to his first break gauge. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to go. Oh, that was a waste. Okay, so we see, we see a couple, we see some issues there. All right, so this is the strike one. If you play Dokkan Battle, it looks like Dokkan Battle. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go for the rush because it's getting a little too close to comfort. I need to try and hold on to that strike. Oh, he dodged it. go this is why we held off All right, he, he's still we're probably gonna take some damage here or maybe not we can rising rush The only thing, the only gripe that I think I have with this in terms of how, in terms of like these little mini games, I wish they changed up the mini games a little bit. Like I wish, like I understand why we gotta do the Z for the, uh, <laughs> for the Rising Rush. But what I would have liked to see would be like, okay, you do the, you do the initial Z, but then you change up the last swipe. So that way it keeps you on your toes.
All right, with this, with as much as we've been building up our ultimate, our ultimate damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was done. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the new game mode really. Um, that's the new game mode. Uh, due to time constraints, I'm not going to be able to showcase the uh, the scream difficulty. But if you guys would like to see me try and try to attempt the scream difficulty on a high, uh, on a different video, I'd be more than happy to do so. Just let me know down in the comments. But yeah, uh, that's really it. Just uh, in terms of tips, just go through and just go through and make sure to you know always do the type advantage. Uh, make sure you always try to use as many boost characters as you can. Uh, utilize your comrades in their selected units because they those help provide a buff for you as well. And um, yeah, just stay vigilant while you play the uh, main mode because it's uh, it's a lot more intensive and a lot more involved than some of the other stuff that's been out. So. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.